What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean your computers. I haven't cleaned my computer in a very long time. Just for the purpose of this video though. So you can see all that dust on my fans that go on my heatsink and my video card and pretty much everywhere else. So these are the tools that you need. You need a Phillips screwdriver. At least I need a Phillips screwdriver to take apart my computer parts. This is the main thing that you need. You can use the air compressor as well, but this works a lot better. Um, this is an electric duster specifically made for cleaning out computer parts. And if you absolutely must touch and clean some of the parts, I would recommend one of those screen cleaners. But see if there's an anti-static version of it. Don't just use any microfiber towel that for instance, don't use the ones that you use on your car because those generate a lot of static electricity and that, and that can damage your computer parts. So let's get started. So we're going to take apart some of the computer and we're just pretty much going to dust it away. You also want to do this outside. So I personally like these open style cases but they do accumulate more dust. Just an FYI. But I typically prefer them. It keeps your computer running cooler as well. So this is my video card. I'm going to take my video card out. So these are the power pins for my video card. You don't have to take everything apart, but some stuff you should. So there's something here on the PCI Express slot. You have to push it back. So you can see it's like very, very dirty. But the fans are actually surprisingly really clean. And we're going to take apart some of the fans. So it's not necessary to take everything apart. You could just give it a quick like... You could just blow some air on it quickly and it'll be fine. So with these you have to remember that everything's pretty much connected. So this is my heat sink. It keeps my CPU running cool. So typically if it doesn't cool it well enough, it runs a little bit hotter. And when it runs a little bit hotter, it actually runs a little bit slower. So you can actually technically boost some CPU, some computer performance really, by cleaning out your parts. On a side note, I really like these fans because they're super, super quiet. I actually really, really like these fans. Okay, that's pretty much it for the front. I'm not going to take anything else out. Okay, see, you can see how much dust there is. It's, there's a crazy amount. Alright, so this is a pretty open, wide nozzle, so it's not that much pressured. Uh, there are thinner nozzles that come with this that give it more pressure, but you don't need to go too crazy. And the most important thing is, don't try to blow these directly on the fans too much, like kind of do it from a distance because uh, the, the fans can actually mess up. They can actually break uh, if you put too much pressure on them with this, so not a good idea. Let's do it from this side so you guys can see how much dust. And I'll play it in slow-mo. You could literally see like look how much dust there is that flew okay so i'm gonna point it the other way and we're gonna go this way so you guys so with the fans off i can use this blower much at a much closer distance and it's much more effective yeah the parts that are solid state like you don't see any you know fans here or anything it's okay if you go a little bit closer but with fans you really have to do it from a distance Okay, so there's no fan here, the fan's on the bottom, so again, I'm careful, I don't want to go closer than that, and just for a split second. 
I'll show you guys how you could wipe down some of these parts, but carefully. But again, if you could avoid wiping, that's actually better. <laughs> So you could see that you know it's it's still really dusty so and it's really a protective layer because it's protecting the PCB underneath it so I'm gonna use the microfiber towel again this is for like screen cleaning it's not the same microfiber that goes on the car it's that soft one that typically people use for glasses and things like that but the best thing you could do is get an anti-static one that's really what you want so I'm just going to make it just a little damp, like just very, very little. And kind of, kind of dry it. So I'll show you guys. So you can see there's a lot of dust here. So if these get super dusty, you can technically clean these with Q-tips, but mine are pretty much fine. So I'm going to avoid that, but you could dip uh, Q-tips in a little bit of alcohol and just kind of go like this. Like individually, but mine look fine, so I'm just going to leave this. Again, the less you touch this stuff, the better, because this is a fan and it's spinning and it needs to spin. And you don't want to apply pressure or anything like that to it because, you know, it could mess up. Other than the, and you know, there's some dust here on top of the connections, but I don't want to touch this because I'd rather have it a little bit dusty than not working. Again, with computers, the less you touch, the better off you are. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy or anything like that. Now you could do an amazing job of cleaning and it could be fine and it could work and then you know possibly the next time you do it and some part breaks and then it doesn't work and then so the metal parts I'm okay with the wires I'm okay with you could clean those they're fine but am I gonna touch this to the motherboard with this no I'm not I'm not gonna touch the motherboard with this that's a printed circuit board and that shouldn't be touched you could just pretty much you know that's that's what that cleaner is for bit of alcohol q-tips uh, so dip it in the alcohol and stuff and I got my dustiest one and I'm just gonna clean it like this now this is a tedious process so it's not you know it's gonna take some time but it's effective you know but yeah it's gonna take time there it is you got one blade complete I'm just gonna use this dirty side and kind of make the dust disappear and then do another round but yeah these fans are amazing they're insanely quiet and again you want to be gentle with this you don't want to apply any pressure really very little pressure okay so this one's pretty much done just gotta do two more so we'll start with the video card, pop it back in, be careful when you're holding it from the bottom not to touch the fans. that's pretty much it just yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button below